Michael Bruce Ross. Over the course of three years in the early 1980s, Michael Bruce Ross claimed the lives of eight girls and women in Connecticut and New York. Ross had endured a troubled childhood and began his vicious crime spree in his senior year of college. I, I just felt like I was right on the edge and like I could, it was just going to be, it wouldn't take much to push me over. I just, and it was very frightening back then. I'm not like that now. I'm just such a lovable guy now. After he was captured in 1984, Ross confessed to all eight murders and was sentenced to death in Connecticut. In an interview given while awaiting execution, the roadside strangler, as he came to be known, casually recounted his heinous crimes. It was 3.30 in the afternoon on a fairly well-driven road. Uh, she was walking along the side of the road, and uh, I just stopped the car, got out of the car. At one point, he even bragged about the strength with which he strangled his victims. He was an insane uh, strength or something, and because and, I, I got a kick out of it because the prosecutor, I knew, had no idea that was coming. Ross was executed in 2005, the last person to face that penalty in the state.